literally sitting here drinking like a college student on a Monday night alone for a YouTube video. Hello my fellow explorers. So it's that time of year. Tis the season, the season of giving. And for whatever reason, maybe it's because these movies have been having a moment on the internet lately that I just thought, why not watch Barbie in the Nutcracker? No one asked for this film. But you know, I loved this movie as a child. And I used to actually have this movie on VHS along with Barbie as Rapunzel, my favorite of the Barbie movies. I loved this movie growing up, and I've actually seen some other reaction channels make videos about some of the Barbie movies, so I thought, you know, what the heck? Why not do it? I also figured, you know, the majority of my viewers have come to my channel from me reacting to animated shows. Whether you want it or not, I'm here reacting to Barbie in the Nutcracker. It's an animated movie, so... It fits in! And also, since some of those reviews I've seen have been, like, drunk reactions or drunk reviews to the Barbie movies, I thought it would be kind of fun to do this, like, slightly intoxicated. It's been literal years since I've watched any of the Barbie movies, but these were my childhood growing up. I've seen so many TikToks about them and, like, the, the different tiers of all of them. I grew up loving the Nutcracker. I've been to the ballet multiple times in my life. I used to have a CD of Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker that I used to play on my boombox. And when I used to play piano, I used to know how to play the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies song. Shouldn't say song. Peace is the right word, not song. Who knows how this video is gonna turn out, but I'm looking forward to it. Also, I know we're all disappointed, but I'm not wearing any plaid today. I just, this is what I wore today to work from home and I was too comfy in it and I didn't wanna change. But I will say the fun thing about this sweater is that I call it my sadness from inside out outfit because if I take the collar and turn it up like this and then add my, my blue light blocking glasses. I look just like her. If we shorten my hair a little bit, and I don't hate it. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe for more movie and TV reactions. I post new videos every week. And also hit that post notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And with that, let's go. So I rented this on YouTube, and it's asking me, do you want to play this video? This video may be inappropriate for some users. Who? Who? This is a Barbie movie centered on children. If it's not rated G, I would be shocked. I've rented multiple other movies off of YouTube before. I've rented Clueless and I've rented She's the Man. I don't think I've ever gotten this cautionary notification before. Yes, I wish to proceed. I didn't really specify, but when I said I'm drinking like a college student, it's because I haven't had any hard alcohol in a very long time. Like, Oh my gosh, I forgot about the fairies. They're like the baby Barbies flying around as fairies. I'm, I'm screaming. This brings me back so hard. The reason I say that I'm drinking like college student is because I haven't had any hard alcohol in a very long time. I've had this bottle of citrus flavored vodka for quite a while that I got as a gift and I haven't drank. And so I was like, you know, we're gonna open it up tonight. And what goes well with a citrus flavored vodka? A citrus flavored soda. So I mixed it with the Mountain Dew that I have because anybody who knows me knows I have a scary addiction to Mountain Dew. I don't drink coffee. I don't really drink tea. If I need caffeine, I'm gonna get a Mountain Dew. So here we are drinking what looks to be Piss flavored alcohol. Every time I drink Mountain Dew, I immediately think of the episode of Drake and Josh where one of the brothers has to put his feet in lizard pee. But you know, we're here, we're drinking it. I literally tried to take a sip of the vodka straight and I wanted to throw up. I had to dilute the hell out of this. I usually drink hard seltzers and hard cider. I don't drink hard liquor ever. Yeah, this is the song I used to know how to play on piano. It's a bop. Tchaikovsky knew what he was doing. You almost had it, Kelly. Here, let me show Good old Kelly and Barbie. Gotta have their, their modern day chats that then lead into, and I spilled on myself. This is going great. Oh. It's okay, Kelly. You can do it. You've just gotta find the courage to try. Like Clara. Clara? From the ballet? And that was a very subtle, and by subtle I mean not subtle at all. 22 minutes early. 
such bad manners. I mean, I agree. If you, if I had a party and you showed up 20 minutes early without telling me you were coming early, I'd be pissed because I would still be in the bathroom putting on my makeup. That was too dainty of a placement of an ornament. Usually if I'm putting an ornament on a tree, I have to like really get it on that branch. You can't just like daintily. Well, I guess if you have a hook, you can. But if it's on like a ribbon like that, you have to like make sure it's open enough and you have to like push aside the bristles. How oh, my AC still on? You can't tell me what to do. No, but I'm sure grandfather will insist on a bath. On a bath? You've already put your suit on. This maid has no expression. She's just like, Well, let's see. I met an emperor. I sailed on a junk. I had my first rickshaw ride. And I hiked the Great Wall. I'm realizing now that this woman, Aunt Drosselmeyer, might have been my original inspiration for all my dreams of travel. Me over here like, I want to meet an emperor. I want to go on a sailboat. Then he bowed and asked me to dance. Did you? I couldn't say no to the king. He must have felt like a princess. She casually dances with what there. she Maybe next time you can come with me. Grandfather would never allow it. I wanted to go with Aunt Drusselmeyer on all of her adventures. He's wonderful. Thank you, Aunt Elizabeth. The only nutcrackers I have are the ones that say specifically, do not use to crack nuts. That was quick. I'm sure he didn't mean to hurt you. Tommy looks so regretful. Okay. They really just don't even bother showing the party. A young girl needs to be responsible and practical. Sounds boring. My family used to have almost an identical clock to that. Like, my grandmother had that clock with that exact same chime. And it went off every 15 minutes. And we could never figure out how to change it, so it was at least every, like, half hour. It's still in our basement, it just doesn't work anymore. Okay. We're changing alcohols. Get away from there. Shoot, shoot. I like how she's casually just like, oh, it's a rat in armor? Shoo. I would be screaming and running upstairs. They're really out here doing the same shadow trick that originated in the old movies that they tried to replicate also in season whatever of Korra with Bolin when he was acting as Nukchuk. This is not good. She's still really calm about this. God, he get this the Rat King gives me severe predator vibes. really hurt that badly. It was a shoe. The sugar plum princess? Yes. I've been trying to find her since the Mouse King turned me into a nutcracker. You mean you used to be not a nutcracker. That whole scene without any music underneath it felt very off. Surely you don't want to spend the rest of your life the size of a mouse. But how would I get back? The same way you came in. Oh, I forgot about the necklace. Once you found the sugar plum princess, open the locket and you will return home your normal size. Apparently younger me just thought all of that made sense. Current me is like, mm, that was way too convenient. Also, I'm taking a break from the citrus vodka. We're moving on to the margarita. Sorry. She's really out here flirting with a wooden man. We'll fix this right up. Oh, 
She's so casual about this whole situation. Uh, these walls are solid ice. No, really? You thought your sword was gonna do anything? I always really love this song. I keep saying song. It's a piece. There are no lyrics to this. Childhood me really thought this was the peak of artistry. Wow. A plus dancing. I feel like this movie was directly responsible for getting an entire generation of ballet dancers interested in ballet. Because I'm pretty sure after this movie, I wanted to join ballet. Hey. Casually pushing them closer together. Oh, what a flirtation. How convenient! I guess that was their thank you. Their thank you for what? Fixing that one girl's Probably wings? So I had to take a two second break to go to the bathroom. I think this is the first time I've ever had to take a bathroom break in the middle of like a long film. Like when I'm doing the TV series ones, I can obviously go in between each episode. But normally I can make it through a whole movie without needing to go to the bathroom. This time, apparently because I've had alcohol, my bladder's just like, nope, too bad. Hmm. Forgot about this creepy bat. He flaps as if he's got a broken wing. He's like way over here and then way over here. Is he? I feel like he's trying to be the bat from Anastasia whose name I cannot immediately remember. I want to say his name was Bartok, but I could be way off. I wish I could remember, but I'm so hungry. I feel weak. No, faint. He's really trying to be the bat from Anastasia. He's attempting to be the comedic element of the film. It's an ambush. Take cover. Ooh, an ambush of snowballs. Oh no. By two children! But what happened to Prince Eric? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> I'm concerned with how long these two children were alone in this village. Like, was it days? Have they had food to eat? How did they not see them climb up the ladder? Come, children. Masha will take care of you. Masha! We'll take care of you! What kind of freaking accent was that? No one ever trusts me to do an accent, ever. I will butcher it. You make the prince sound pretty awful. Awful? <laughs> but I, uh, that's a compliment. He was useless, lazy, and irresponsible. Major, do you know what became of Prince Eric? The Mouse King destroyed him. Or did he? Bum bum bum! Lawn ornaments. Too much ornament, not enough lawn. Oh! I totally forgot about him freezing everybody into stone. Which seems bizarre. Like he's gonna run out of army. If he hasn't already run out of members of the army already. Like no wonder his army was like six people. He's frozen almost every single one of his subjects. What's the point of being a king if you have no one to rule over? You're gonna put a magical spell on a weight-bearing pillar? That's how the walls fall down, buddy. What about Marzipan? She's really going to sleep with that hat on? You're more than a nutcracker, Prince Eric. I'm glad she figured it out. How is he possibly losing his balance? They are nowhere near each other. Don't blame me for your sloppy footwork and general clumsiness. Clumsy? Excuse you? You're the bungling clodhopper who was dangling from a branch. I don't know what a clodhopper means, but I'm sure it's not great. 
It's so wild rewatching this and watching all these memories that I've completely forgotten about come back. Like, I remember this well scene, but I obviously, like, I didn't remember it being in it, but the minute I see it, the entire scene comes back to me. Are they gonna give her a dress? And a new hairdo? Oh no, they're just gonna make the forest green again. Are they gonna change your dress? I know they do it at some point. So I'm just like waiting for it. Is their entire group really just gonna survive off of a pile of apples? It's better than nothing, true, but you need a balanced diet. They were really out here trying to convince us to ship a person with a nutcracker. The horse with the carriage just casually shows up on the recently frozen ice. Weather's getting worse. I say we turn about. Turn about and go where? Wow. I just remembered something about this, as soon as they open it. It's all coming back to me. Yep. If I could just get off this island. Hello? Oop, she's back. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the swing! That seems like the least safe mode of transportation I've ever seen. I'm sure as a young child, I was very stressed about her sneaking around. Now I'm like, meh. Why are they building a bonfire? Are they planning on burning each of them at the stake? It seems your subjects are planning an, uh, uprising. What? I don't blame them. Okay, I gotta do it again. Okay. Second bathroom break. <laughs> What's wrong with the girl? We can see her, but... <gasps> I forgot about this! Childhood me was shook. <laughs> the flirtation or attempt at flirtation. It's rough. Rude. With the brawn of twenty and six, I'll smite my enemy into sticks. Absolutely not. If you were that much bigger than him, realistically, it would take like two seconds for you to conquer him. Wow. For some reason, I remember the fight lasting, like, multiple minutes. That lasted literally 60 seconds. Like, that was the shortest fight ever. Prince Eric. Wow. Who would have thought? But how can this be? And here's her transformation with her epic, big, curly hair with her poofy dress. This I remember. I thought the dress was floor length, but I guess not. It all makes sense. You saved me from the Mouse King and your I also remember Eric being more attractive than this. He really medusa the hell out of every single one of his subjects, but at least his curse was reversible. We're really doing, like, a quick montage of, like, a solid 10 to 15 minute scene of the Nutcracker. Honestly, the only part I remember of the actual Nutcracker is the woman with the very large skirt 
that all the children, like, pop out of. They're really about to do a whole dance. Seven-year-old me was obsessed with this scene. I'm telling you, this movie single-handedly is the cause of an entire generation of ballet dancers. Like this scene? So epic for a child. I literally started getting chills. I was not expecting that. I will let the wise leadership of my father be my guide. These peasants are way too hyped. <laughs> Again, it's a snowball. I remember this part being so tragic. Girl. You cannot start out the morning with these wild stories that literally no one would believe. Clara, Tommy, this is Eric, the son of a deer. When Eric popped up at the end of this, seven-year-old me was shook. Still remember him being more attractive than he actually is, but you know, I guess we'll take it. <laughs> May I have this dance? There's no explanation! They need to have some sort of discussion that connects it all together. Like, I'm here for it. Like, she should be questioning, how are you here? Like, do you remember? I remember. None of that happens. At the beginning of this, Kelly was struggling with the steps. And then Barbie tells her a story, and then immediately after the story is told, she remembers all the steps. This doesn't add up. She shouldn't suddenly be able to do all the steps. The plot holes. I'm expecting too much. <laughs> New York City ballet dancers. Wild. They, they really went all out for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> that movie went by really quickly. I realize it's only like an hour and 20 minutes, but it just seemed to fly by. But this was a really fun, nostalgic time. I haven't watched this movie or any of the Barbie movies in years. And it's wild that this movie, which was the first of all of the Barbie franchise films, like this started it all. I guess from what I've seen on the internet, it seems like in more recent years, the quality of the Barbie films have trailed off. But let me tell you, the original few movies were iconic. This one was the very first Barbie movie. And then based on my quick Google search, the second one that came out was Barbie as Rapunzel, which is my all-time favorite Barbie film. And then I think the next ones after that were Swan Lake, Princess and the Popper, and then Fairytopia. I might be missing something in there, but right around there is kind of when I stopped watching them. Really the only ones that I truly remember are this one and Rapunzel, just because I own those two on VHS. Like I said, it did seem to go by really quickly. Like a lot of the scenes that I remember feeling like they dragged on for quite a long time, like not in a bad way of dragging on. I just mean like the scenes felt like they were more significant. Whereas watching it again, it felt like everything was going so fast paced. And maybe that's just because I am a lot older. The scene where she finds them in their prison and there's this invisible wall hiding them. Like I thought that was like an entire scene rather than literally a minute long. And then the battle with the Rat King, I remember that being so much more significant. Watching it again, it literally seemed like it lasted 60 seconds. It just moved so much quicker than I remember, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just really, really interesting rewatching it. This was really enjoyable though. I don't know if my small bit of intoxication showed up at all during this film. We'll have to see. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. Like I said, the Barbie film franchise has had a bit of a resurgence across the internet, the majority of it being from what I've seen on TikTok and YouTube. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this and enjoyed watching it with me. I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in me doing more reactions to other movies in the Barbie franchise. I think it would be really fun for me to do Barbie as Rapunzel just because that was my favorite growing up and I think that one would bring back a ton of memories for me. This one definitely brought back some memories but I think that one being my favorite would be really really fun for me to rewatch. But I could also do you know Barbie Fairytopia or Swan Princess or even The Princess and the Pauper which from what I've gathered from the internet that seems to be the number one favorite by the majority of people so let me know if you guys are interested in that I'm actually filming this quite early this year and it's not even Thanksgiving yet but I felt like this was a really fun way to get me into that holiday spirit a little bit early it's definitely a different experience rewatching it now that I'm older but it was still a really fun time and to just see the kind of animated movies that were coming out when I was a child like this movie came out in 2001 and it is now 2020. And I thought it was like the height of animation during the time. And maybe it was, but to see how far we've come since then is truly remarkable. But that doesn't mean this movie doesn't deserve the praise that it gets. This was a good time. Like I said, I don't know if you could actually tell that I've been inebriated, who's to say? On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of Barbie and the Nutcracker, if you've even seen Barbie and the Nutcracker. If you have and you've seen other of the Barbie franchise movies, let me know which ones are your favorite. And like I said, let me know if you would even be interested in me doing other Barbie franchise films. I thought this would be both really fun and also really fitting with my channel because the majority of my viewers have come to my channel from animated TV shows. This is an animated film. So I really thought that it would be something that at least some of you would be interested in so please let me know if you guys would be interested in me doing more of these Barbie franchise films in the future. Don't forget to hit that post notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to watch any of my previous reaction videos you can watch them in the playlist up above and I will see you guys next time. Happy exploring!